First Wire with Infinity Discs. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to curve type um, around the edge of a CD label and uh, and warp it or curve it. Um, uh, and first I'm just going to basically, oop, actually, let's go up here and select the um, ellipse cool, hold down shift. And that's going to be my CD label. You want to come up here, we print from 170 to 170 and on the edges. This is going to be my CD label. Let me center that up so you can see it a little bit better. Anyway, there we go. So anyway, here's our CD label. And I'm going to show you how to curve text. Oop. So come up here, click the type tool, and just say infinity disks, a CD and DVD duplication company. This can be illustrated and be pretty. Let's bold it. Right. Just select it. Come to bold. All right, now we're going to curve it. We're going to curve it right around the edge. So come up. Oop. We'll keep it selected. Here's your warp tool. Make with warp. And you'll want to click preview right here. And um, then you'll see it. You'll see it. And then you can change it and just kind of however you want. Pretty easy, but effective. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make um, change your default um, character or font. Um, mine's always set to Arial because I I do so much typesetting and uh, Arial is just a great font because everybody recognizes it. Um, so anyway, what you'll do is you'll want to go up to Window, come down to Type, Character styles. Again, this is going to change your default. I'm just going to change it from Arial to to um, Times New Roman. So double click Normal Style. Come down to Basic Character Fonts. Come all the way down here to Times New Roman, and then we'll just do Bold. How about that? So the next time you go and uh, open up Illustrator, Times New Roman will be selected when you uh, hit the Type Tool, or you can just set if let's say if Type Tool not selected, hit T, I'll select it, click, and then type away. Pretty easy. Uh, again, that's just how you curve text and uh, whatnot around the edge of a CD label. Save you a lot of time.